Damn, girl, you're up early. Why are you here so quick? It's been 20 seconds. Dude. <laughs> it's early for you. You were like one of my few PST viewers. I'm in class. I got post notes on. Yeah, keep me on the second tab, minimize it. But I can. Can we get some yo's? I don't know if you can hear me. Type one if you can hear me. <laughs> Dude, it's so funny. I think it's hilarious whenever chatters like open up the stream but they can't hear it. You can hear? Okay. <laughs> Man, I can't talk shit now. It's so funny because like Kim is one of the chatters who just like opens the stream, says hi, or has it muted. <laughs> I think it's so funny. Anyway guys, early stream. I still got eye crusties. I literally rolled out of bed 10 minutes ago. Mainly because I'm, I'm doing shit. I'm gonna support you. Oh, you're so sweet. You're so cute. Look. Yo, this is my Riz face, guys. <laughs> okay, I'm not stalling because I have other work to do because I'm going out and touching grass today. So, I wanted to stream early. That way I could get some edits done because, guys, I'll be honest, I don't have any more, like, TikToks to upload past tomorrow. Ooh! So, I have to edit for, like, three hours today before I go out and hang out with my friends. So, that's the plan. Plan is simple. Harvesting all my berries. I'm going for a berry any percent run. Yesterday, for the first day of berry runs, I had a 58 minute run. Yesterday, I had a... I had a 41 minute run. So today, I'm going for a 35 minute berry run. Which, I don't know how well it's gonna go. Let's jump into it. <laughs> Wait, did I run an ad? Shit. We can't have the non-subs watching our secret stream. I didn't run an ad. Twitch is gonna get really mad. Okay. <clears throat> At least my voice isn't as fucked as yesterday. We're in, boys. <laughs> 64 hours Omega Dents. We're back in Marvel City. So I think the- Oops. I didn't press the right button on my GBA. I think the best route is to go- Wait, it doesn't matter if I go left or right. I'm gonna go to class. Okay, bye, Kim. You know what? I'm going to the far right. Rise right. Hell yeah, brother. Wait, last night I saw the Civil War movie. That's also why I'm fucking tired. Because, you know, my sister and my roommate, they have, like, totally opposite work schedules. So it's not often we can, like, all hang out at the same time. So, like, it just ended up being either we wait, like, two weeks to see the movie or we see it at, like, 10 p.m. And... We bought the tickets on, like, Wednesday, and the it was totally empty, but we walked in the theater, full theater, to see Civil War. And I'm not gonna spoil it, but I was pleasantly surprised. It was, okay, the most I'll say, because, like, the trailers made it seem like a war movie. Like, I thought it was just gonna be a war movie. I know the, the main character is gonna be the photographer, but it was, no, okay, it was, um, <laughs> I don't wanna... Let's just say the main focus wasn't on the war, which is really interesting. It was kind of like Oppenheimer where like it doesn't really address the main war going on. <laughs> but it was still good. Oh no, the, gu the movie made me scared of guns. Guns are scary. I don't know. I, I okay. Just in general, I'm I'm done talking about the movie. I'll probably like give a full review whenever the movie's out for like two weeks because it was it was pretty good. It was enjoyable for what it was. Um, I genuinely think like kids playing like shooters and FPS games make them a lot less or a lot more desensitized to like violence and guns. Like, not saying that the kids will do violence whenever they play Valorant, but I think it kind of like. It minimizes it, like, I don't know, I've, okay, I've never shot a gun, so, like, I don't, I obviously, like, don't know what it's like, but, I don't know, whenever people say, like, oh yeah, I got, like, three kills today in Valorant, it was pretty sick for this run, like, it's still, like, a person, and I feel like, 
I feel like the Civil War movie really reinforced that theme of like the the sanctity of life. Like she, I don't know. Wait, this berry might confuse you. That's so bad. The wiki berry is stupid. Oh wait, I did start my live split. Guys, we're almost at 90 hours. Isn't that crazy? You know, we're for sure gonna hit 100 hours, and that's gonna be, like, so iconic. Man, okay, yesterday? Or the other day, I returned my laptop, right? Oh wait, it was yesterday. And then when my sister got home, I told her that it was worth $400, and she's like, Really? And I was like, Yeah. And I was like, You can have it all. And she's like, Really? <laughs> I'm, I'm genuinely so happy that the laptop was worth more because that'll just be like less money she has to spend on something she wants I was really happy okay since I have like ample or I should plant more parasim berries I'm gonna need I'm gonna plant most every single parasim I'm gonna save at least one though because out of all the berries right now, I just need parasims because I have ample of most everything else. Oh my god, 90 hours incoming. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. <laughs> Three, two, one. 90 hours, everybody. Holy shit. Controversial. I don't mind burgers that have a pineapple in it. I, d I just don't like how they call it like a Hawaiian burger. I feel like that's kind of like stupid. It's kind of like calling the Hawaiian pizza that because it has pineapple on it. But like it tastes good. I just wish they would call it something else. But okay, what, what should they call it then though? They should call it wannabe tomato burger. Because, okay. A lot of people will, like, grimace. Wait, not grimace. <laughs> A lot of people will, like, go, ooh, whenever they hear, like, pineapple on pizza or on a burger. But a pineapple has the same function as a tomato. It's meant to, like, add more moisture to your burger build. The only difference is that the pineapple is sweet. Wait, what Pokemon's my leader? Magikarp, hell yeah, brother. So, like, it's meant to, like, give you, like, a shot of juice in every bite. Let's drown him. And you know what? I like the sweetness of the pineapple. I think it's because I love a honey mustard. I'm a sucker for, like, any food that has a lot of flavors. That's why I love pizza. Hamburger because you can put like so many different sauces and toppings. I don't know if it's like My ADD not ADD brain, but I just like being overwhelmed with flavors. I think I've learned I just like being overwhelmed. I like feeling a lot But that's only with like taste and emotion when it comes to like What else what else? I don't like, like, different textured clothes. Like, if I have, like, a tight pant and a loose shirt, it bothers me. Because then my my top hat doesn't feel the same as my bottom hat. Oh, no. Whenever... <laughs> Dude, I'm so bad. Whenever I get pizza... Dude, it's been so long since I've had pizza. Holy shit. It's been like four months. 
It's because my sister doesn't like pizza, my roommate doesn't like pizza as much, so like, they will never choose to get pizza. They always want to get sushi, because they're weebs. It's fine, they're Asian though. They have the card, they have the pass. <clears throat> So anyway, they never want to get pizza, but whenever I get pizza, I literally get like, so I get so many toppings, it becomes like a, a slop almost. There's so much shit on it, but I love, okay, my go-to mod pizza. I don't know why I'm yapping so much. I think it's because I didn't sleep well last night because I saw the Civil War movie and I got scared. Guns are scary. But my go-to mod pizza order, write this down guys, all the peace in North Vlogs, frogs, vlogs. <laughs> I usually get the impossible meat sausage if they have it. Feta cheese, I, I literally get like one of every single cheese. I know it doesn't taste that much different, but I love the ricotta cheese. Baked. I think it's really good. I usually get bacon, ham, mushroom, spinach, roasted garlic. Only if I'm not seeing anybody later, you know. And then I get pineapples and anchovies. Like the two most controversial toppings, but I love it because if you get a bite, come on. I'm skipping, I'm skipping. I'm on Route 103. I don't want to hook up with you. Sorry, man. Because <laughs> <laughs> I think the perfect bite is a bite that has pineapple and sardine. Because then you get that pang of sodium and then the sweetness. It's so good. I think a huge reason why I like being overwhelmed with flavor now is because my mom, <clears throat> she only knew how to cook like American food. I'm gonna start planting polka block berries now because I'm running out of the normal berries. So she was like, she knew how to season like Asian food. So like that stuff would usually hit. But like anytime she tried to make like white people food or American food, Dude, it'd always be so bland. It's mainly because she didn't like American foods. So she would make it for like my dad or my sister and I. Dude, I swear she would never taste. Like there was one time where she was making like a, a chicken noodle soup and she had me taste it. It literally tastes, excuse me, it literally tasted like water. It was bad. That's why usually, obviously when you're cooking you should taste throughout because flavor builds the longer something cooks or bakes. Oh wait, don't take shit out of the oven. I mean like if you're stovetop cooking. So always have like, I usually, sometimes whenever I do soup, I will have like a bowl by the stovetop and I will pre-place three spoons there. That way I know to like test it three times throughout. That way like I don't forget. <clears throat> It's honestly the strat. Wait, I'm weak against grass. I'm scared. Oh, I should run away. <laughs> oh, I'm scared of a little oddish. <clears throat> I mean, I'm not scared. Okay, I'm doing pretty good on my berry any percent run today. I'm at 12 minutes. I could probably get a new PB. I think it's because, like, it's early in the morning. And usually I have more, like, mental energy right when I wake up. Like, I'm usually, like, kind of groggy for only, like, 20 minutes. And then I, like, do shit. Because my daily schedule used to be prior to Peace Lock. Peace Lock definitely fucked me up. 
Cause like, I'll start peace luck earlier, that way I get done earlier. But then I'm so fucking tired whenever I do like those five to eight hour streams. Like, I know like I can do it, but it, it's fucking exhausting sometimes. Mainly cause like, Pokemon isn't like a fun game, and it's not like super engaging, so I'm not like... I'm not like bogging the whole time. Like, especially after losing Saw, like, whenever I play Pokemon, I'm like, shit, like, I need to, like, try hard. I can't be fucking around no more. I did regain a Graveler, so that's actually huge. But, shit, like, it's not that I'm, like, stressed playing, but I'm, like, kind of anxious. <laughs> like, something bad will happen. Oh, berries and cream. But anyway, so like my daily schedule would be like wake up at 6 or 7, edit for like 2 or 3 hours, and then do a stream. But since peace log like takes so much time, and also like it takes the whole fucking day, I haven't been editing as much, which is whatever. <clears throat> but like because of that, like I'm not ahead on my main channel, I'm not ahead on the clips channel, like I'm literally... <coughs> I'm literally, like, uploading the main channel videos the night before. Like, it's so bad. I mean, I got mine done. I got today's video done yesterday morning. Because I got up early to edit. But it's so bad. Like, I used to be so good at not procrastinating at editing, but now I am. I don't know what's going on. This better not be a shuppet. Imagine. Wait, what did I title my stream? Oh, wait. I thought I said streaming for my EU viewers because I love them. I said because they are my fans. Or my faves. Okay. I got scared. I don't ever want to say that I love Jen. Which I don't. EU. The only person I love is Chad's mothers. Get it right. <clears throat> Damn, 237 XP. Holy shit. Do, do, do. <laughs> do, 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 do. Wait, did I plant these yesterday? I thought I watered these yesterday. I don't know. No, but I'll go out. But I'll. Me gustan plantas. <clears throat> Como se dice Zaza in Spanish? <laughs> no me gusta Zaza. <laughs> nah, I don't... Like, I see the appeal to marijuana. It just, like, it's not for me. And you know what? I'm already pretty chill, so I don't need to be, like, zooted to be chill. Also, I signed, like, a D.A.R.E. campaign in 6th grade saying I would never do drugs, and I have to honor that. Also, like, marijuana is expensive. Like, I've gone to uh, marijuana shops with friends, like, just to, like, check it out. Like, see the vibe. And it's expensive, man. It's kind of like smoking. It's too expensive to do your hobbies anymore. Like, just get a cheapy hobby that doesn't, like, hurt you. Like, go walking or some shit. You don't gotta... <laughs> you don't gotta hit a... Hit a gummy or whatever. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with that. I think, like, dude, I'm almost 25. I think the main reason why I don't want to, like, smoke cigarettes or marijuana 
is because like I'm just too stubborn you know I, like I've gone nearly 25 years I've been strong I've been resilient and I still haven't like caved like it's I imagine it's like the people who are like virgins till they're like 50 like you're just stubborn at that point <laughs> and you know what I love that I think it's honestly such a slave I do feel bad whenever I go to the doctors because like obviously one of their screening questions is do you smoke and then you have to check the box where it says never sometimes I keep sometimes multiple times a week and then every day I always check never because like I obviously have never smoked I'm not punk like that but like I just feel like people think I'm lying and okay, like obviously when you go to the doctors, don't lie about shit like that. Like if you have smoked or if you have done like drugs, they need to know. That way they don't like give you any medicine or do procedures that could interf interfere with whatever drugs you've done, whether legal or illegal. So it's for your safety. Like the doctor's not there to like take you out back and jail you. <laughs> I don't know why I said take you out back. So like obviously be honest with your doctor. Um, they're not gonna snitch, okay? Or they're not there to snitch, they're just there to help you. But like, I, ju I just feel like I'm lying, even though I'm not lying. <laughs> but also like, none of the doctors have said, Oh my god, I'm so proud of you, peace and for never smoking. Like, you, you would think that they would like, praise me more. <laughs> The only doctor that said, okay, it's good that you don't smoke was my cardiologist. He's like, you know, that's great that you haven't smoked. I'm like, yep. Yes, sir. But nobody else seems impressed. It's like, why am I being stubborn if not for praise? <clears throat> I don't know, for these sub only streams, I work on my bits. This is like my open mic night, but during the day, it, this, you, you, <laughs> it's my open <laughs> open mic mornings. Um, OMM, open mic mornings. Dude, I've decided I'm not going to open mic night anymore. Because, like, I hate being out that late. It's scary. Tango miedo. <laughs> I gotta sneeze. I can feel it coming. There are times when, like, I wish I could drive. But I'll be honest. I like being dragged around. I don't, okay, I don't like being in cars. The cars make me kind of sick. I'm kind of like the dogs, how they gotta keep their head out of the car. I have to look out the window. The moment I don't look out the window, I get queasier. But, like, going on the bus is kind of fun. It's kind of like your own personal escort, but for like 20 other people. And legit. For context, I can't drive anymore because I have a slight visual impairment. I have to like, go get it diagnosed, but it's like, shit. And that's probably gonna take another few months. And the thing with like, uh, 
disability insurance, Medicaid, is that you have like an allotted budget for the year, so like you can't really go over that budget. So like, I gotta save my Medicaid budget for this year for like other shit. If I have enough budget, then I'll go get my eyes checked. But I have like a... Dude, I forgot what it's called. Um, but it's basically where my vision... Okay, imagine this. For you visual learners. My vision, like imagine this is supposed to be- my face cam is still. Like my vision goes like this sometimes, like it, it jitters. And that's because of my brain condition. And like, it's fairly common in the people who have the big brain, but like, it still fucking sucks. So like, if I were to drive, like get a license, I'd have to- <clears throat> I'd have to get a license that has like the little indicator that you're visually impaired, so I technically would have a disability license. But, like, <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't, obviously like different um, levels of visual impairness can like still drive. But like imagine like the cop pulls you over and you whip out your ID and he sees that you're like visually impaired. What is he gonna say? Like, is he gonna like, is he still gonna like shoot on sight? <laughs> like. Hello? Dude, cops are like... It's really fucked up. <clears throat> no! Oh, that lombre is stupid. <clears throat> yeah, so like... I don't know if it's good for me to drive. Like, I could learn, but like, it's probably not good. Yup. <clears throat> I think, like, every car should just be a self-driving car. That's my controversial opinion. Or, like, if a whole city is run on trains, or, like, trams, I think that would also be sick. Because if everything ran on, like, robots or automation on the road, then it wouldn't be like a human's fault. Then there would be no more vehicular manslaughter. It would just be robot manslaughter. <clears throat> and then, like, there's no ethical dilemma with, like, killing the robot. It's not alive. Uh, none of these moves are good against Zubat. Like, as long as, like, the AI self-driving cars is not driven by, like, a robot, then that- that would feel bad. <clears throat> Colleen! Lepa berries! I feel like every single like futuristic utopia book or movie has like hovering cars or flying cars but people don't realize that like you can't if that were a thing like if flying cars or hoverboard cars were like more accessible like as accessible as like a car there would still be like massive regulation around it they would have to make like traffic laws for the area between the ground and where low-flying planes go. Like, they would still have rules and shit. Like, it wouldn't necessarily make it more efficient. Like, people have this fantastical idea <clears throat> that they can, like, oh, I'm gonna get in my flying car and try to avoid traffic at 8 p.m. because everybody's going home. It's like, yeah, you think that, but if everybody else has a flying car, there's gonna be traffic in the air, too. Like, it's so stupid. <laughs> That's why, like, I just take the bus. 
Because, you know, traffic always has to make the way for the bus. And it's cool because the bus, if the bus goes on the highway, it can go on the carpool lane and go super fast. Watch this. Take the L. <clears throat> I mean, I'm, I'm speedrunning. I might actually get this done in like 35 minutes today. Holy shit. Dude, for a second I forgot I was on stream. <laughs> that time. <clears throat> Imagine I just like whipped out a slur. Wait, I forgot to unpublish the VOD, shit. <laughs> Wait, I gotta do that real quick. <laughs> no clippers, no clippers. Okay, now it's unpublished. I forgot. <laughs> Imagine. Oh wait, okay, the last thing I'll say about the Civil War movie is... I don't think it's woke. They did say, like, a very bad word. citrus berries, holy moly. <clears throat> like I said, I'm trying to get at least 20 of every berry. Sometimes I forget that this is a kid's game. And I think to myself, how am I playing a kid's game? <clears throat> like, there's nothing wrong with enjoying, like, Nintendo games or baby games. It's just, like, I think it's really funny whenever, like, people take it too seriously. You know, I'm just a casual enjoyer. The last time I was, like, into something seriously fandom-wise, I was... <laughs> like I said, I'm workshopping my jokes today. I don't... Should I say what fandom I was in? I don't want to. I don't want to. Let's just say I liked Eerie on Ice a lot. I'm not gonna say what fandom I was into on Tumblr, but what I will say, <laughs> when I was wiping my laptop, because I used that laptop from like 2017 to 2020, 
Like, that was when I was, like, fresh out of high school and still, like, into fandom shit. I found a bunch of, like, Hayaku fan art saved on that laptop. <laughs> now, it wasn't, like, ship art. It was just, like, the characters, like, illustrated. For the longest time, I had a- wait, did I show it on stream years ago? For the longest time, I had a high IQ screenshot as my screensaver. It was the scene where it has uh, Hinata and Kageyama, like, standing next to each other against, like, a sunset background. Like, that was my screensaver on my phone for, like, a long time. But now- wait, I'm not showing it. I don't want to leak. But now my screensaver on my my main phone is a screenshot from I think the second to last episode of season two of Not Show Shoujo Love Story from Webtoon. Dude, it's so good. But yeah. I love the gay shit. Um mods, I do have LGBTQIA tagged in my stream. Don't worry. I would never lie. Wait, are any of my- wait, wait, I need to double check. Are any of my tags, like, a lie? I know some people do- some people got so mad when people were, like, unironically tagging VTuber. Like, the- uh, uh, Like, I understand the whole discourse around that shit, but it's like, out of everything, why are you getting mad about that? Like... Anyway, let's see. My first tag is sub number four, free with prime. LGBTQIA, AMA, no backseating. Drawing, calligraphy, English, full-time creator, which, yeah, it's true. Blind playthrough and TTS. Okay, n none of my none of my tags are technically a lie. I do, okay. The only discourse that I kind of agreed with concerning Twitch tags was people lying about like. Okay, they didn't like intentionally lie, but a huge debacle that I saw on Twitter a while ago was non-queer people tagging lgbtq plus instead of tagging ally when like ally was already an established tag because how tags work on twitch you can't just for the longest time they changed this about a year ago you couldn't like type your own custom tag you had to use the pre-made twitch tags um so because of that there was no tag for ally i think is what started it but at this point twitch had already added an ally tag so, like, I saw, like, a few people on Twitter chirping about it, but they were like, I hate rating out to other channels that tag LGBTQ and they're not queer. Like, that's not cool. It's not, you're not creating a safe space if you're tagging something and you're not. Which, I agreed with that for the most part, but I think, like, like, Hmm. I'm trying to like say this nicely, but uh, I don't know. It gives me an ick whenever somebody like tries really, really hard to be an ally. My opinion with allyship is not to like, like you can bring awareness to an issue, like you can talk about something, but don't pretend that you being an ally is you, that your voice has the same weight as somebody who actually has that lived experience. I think that's the best way to say it. Like, obviously elevate other people's stories. Like on social media, you can retweet. If you want to like promote allyship, like don't be chirping. Giving your own opinion when it's not you that we're chirping about. But anyway. A lot of the people who defended using the queer tag when they're not queer is like, well, I just want to bring awareness. And it's like, but if you think about it, like, you using the LGBTQ tag when you're not queer, like, you're potentially taking away, like, eyes from, like, an actually queer person. Especially when, I think the best way to explain that is during, like, uh, Pride Month, during Black History Month, during like Asian Pacific Islander Month, just to list a few, like Twitch staff, or not Twitch staff, like the algorithm will automatically like place streams that have those tags on the front page. Obviously some are vetted, but like imagine, like imagine, like a hypothetical, 
like imagine like a non-Asian person tagging like Asian American in their stream and then they get put on the front page like it's like that like if you're not part of the marginalized group don't tag it and it's funny because we've had this whole debacle on stream before like the only people who didn't agree with me were like two POC people cough cough crystal cough cough Mac you guys are stupid sometimes no they were being contrarian for that bit but I still remember the whole debacle but they were like because I brought up the analogy I was like imagine tagging like black if you're not black like you're you're taking you're taking away like their voice and they were like that's different I'm like yeah it's obviously different like <laughs> like that's obviously a whole different level but it's still the same concept like don't tag something unless you're part of that group anyway I don't why was I talking about that shit me all of a day pedal oh yeah I was talking about like people tagging vtuber when they're not a vtuber like, I think that whole VTuber tag debacle was sillier, because, like, obviously, like, VTuber is part of your identity, but it's not part of, like, your human identity, if that makes sense. Like, you're not being discriminated against because you're a VTuber. Like, it's not like you go into the real world and people are making fun of you because you're a VTuber. Because if you're a VTuber, nobody knows what you fucking look like. Versus if you're, like, POC or queer, you, you're more likely to be hate crime because of that. Like, I don't know. I feel like online culture is good and bad in the sense of you can consume whatever you want to consume. You can find different hobbies and interests. But it gives everybody this sense of entitlement to where their opinions need to be validated. And I know when I say that, I sound like very anti-woke, which that opinion is anti-woke, but I think my opinion concerning like internet culture is that you can do what you want to do, you can believe what you want to believe, but like you still have to be respectful and you can't necessarily like attack people directly if they don't agree with you. Because a lot of lack of knowledge either comes from laziness or just a genuine lack of empathy and a lot of people like expect strangers to be like kind and empathetic right away but you have to learn how to be kind that's why like i get like shitty comments sometimes online and it doesn't really matter because i understand in my head that more often than not, this person probably just lacks the empathy, or they're probably a kid and they don't really know any better yet, and that's totally fine. Like, there's some shit that'll stick with me. Yeah, but like, I won't beat myself up over it. No! Paralyzed! No! I'm trying to think if there's like a hate comment that I can remember. But the thing is, I can only remember recent ones. Like, if it's in more than, like, a month, I forget it. Like, shit doesn't stick. I think it's because, like, I don't have, like, a mass influx of shitty comments or, like, shitty chatters because I fairly, like, I regulate a lot, like, how people can engage. Like, I use filtered words. I use follower chat. On Instagram, too, I have followers only mode for my comment section, which helped a lot. Because, like, my reels... Dude, my reels have been popping off. Like, every single reel I post is getting, like, a thousand views. Okay, we're done. We're done. Saving the fucking game. Man, I was speedrunning. Holy shit. Okay, I saved the game. 90, 90-36. 90-36-5705. Yeah, so last yesterday's run was 89.55, so that took. Damn, that took like 40 minutes. I'm actually speedrunning. Holy shit. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, so like comments don't like stick with me anymore. I don't give a shit. Mainly because like I don't have a lot, so I'm like, oh, maybe like I have like one little fucker. But like, obviously, it'd be different if I had like 20 shitheads every day. Like, that would be like, ooh, is it actually me? But I don't care. And I know. But even if there comes a point where I do have shitters, I'll probably still have people who like me. Smile. Okay, guys, short stream. Actually, short stream. 
Um, I'm doing shit today. I'm editing. I'm touching grass. So I will see you guys tomorrow for the daily berry picking. Probably tomorrow afternoon or evening. I'll be honest. It'll be tomorrow evening, probably. Um, and then I think tomorrow, because I already have a fuck ton of berries in my inventory. Like, the only berries I need is the Ross, the Confusion Berries, and then some of the Pokeblock Berries, probably. So, I think tomorrow I'm not going to plant any berries. I'm just going to water. That's the plan. That way, on Monday, hopefully, we'll harvest all the berries by then. Because Monday, I will be doing the full piece luck run. We'll continuing the run, for sure, on Monday. Um... Yeah, I think that's all I got for you guys today. Short stream. Did you like my jokes? Type 1. I was workshopping some of them. Um, also, keep in mind, this is not going to be common. I'm not going to do, like, daily sub only. It's only for the fucking peace lock. Because, like, I need to win. If I have to reset this run, I'm like... I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to fucking cry on stream. Like, we'll do a crying stream. <laughs> okay. I'll see you guys tomorrow for more berry picking. If you want something to watch, no YouTube video out right now. Actually, this week's video will be uploaded in an hour. Ain't that crazy? So make sure you have the channel open that we can watch the video right when it publishes. YouTube.com slash in 17 Ain't no way. Um, I say um a lot. I've gotten a lot better about not saying um. I, I've transitioned from um to so. If you guys want to spoiler, today's YouTube video is the April Fool's How to Be a Streamer. Like, it's so sick and cool. That's the video going up today. I'm indifferent about how I made the thumbnail. I don't know. I kind of like it, but... I did... Guys, I did put a green arrow. Okay, I'm in extreme. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you for anybody who watched any chatters, lurkers. I know a short stream. I did this for the EU frogs. Wait, hi, Alex. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Popping in right at the end. Classic Alex move. Wait, Alex, if you don't mind me asking, do you lurk? Or do you... Cause, okay. Because I'm the type of viewer to where, like, if I'm not chatting, I'm not watching. I usually don't lurk. I know I got a good handful of lurkers, though. The only streams that I lurk in is, like, Hassan, but that's because I don't need to, like, chat directly. Do, do, do. I lurk all the time? Yo, thank you, Alex. You know what? I'll say it. Lurkers are the best viewers because they're here. Wait, I've said this joke before. <laughs> They're the best viewers because, you know, they click the stream, they like what you do, and they're just there to vibe. They don't need attention. They're fucking great. I'll say it. That's cool. Oh my god. Hey, I think... Oh my god. That's like the third yard. Shit. Oh yeah, so like, we didn't get home from the theater until like midnight last night. It, like, I usually don't hang out that way. But, like, it's really weird seeing, like, no cars on the road. It's wild to me. <laughs> anyway, anything else? I think I'm going- I'm gonna go. I gotta- I gotta get shit done. I gotta edit. Dude, I cannot wait for the day I can afford an editor. Man, that'd be sick. Guys, if I have- how many subs would it take to pay a full-time editor? Wait, let's do the math real quick before I end. I'll make a new sub goal tomorrow. <laughs> okay, if I want to pay an editor minimum $20 an hour, times 40 hours a week, times 4. Dude, that's $3,000. Okay, divided by my sub split. Holy shit, I would need... <laughs> if I want to pay a full-time editor 40 hours a week with my current sub split... I would need 1,280 subs. Holy fuck. You know what? One day we'll do it. We'll do it. Dude, that's- that's actually so many. What I, okay, you know what I'll do? I'll pay an editor part-time, that way they don't get benefits. Hell yeah. Okay, bye guys. <laughs>